there are a wide range of intermolecular forces that you need to learn and unfortunately the names that we call them aren't really standard there are lots of different names for the different types of forces so it might be called one thing in biology it might be called a different thing in chemistry you might hear it called something else in a different subject so this video is going to be a summary taking you through all the intermolecular forces taking you through what van der Waals forces are um, briefly introducing stuff like hydrogen bonding and London forces and then after this follows more detailed videos on each of the different type of forces. Now this is a key to understanding in chemistry, it is so so important um, that your understanding of molecular forces is solid. So if you want to practice a little bit you can go over to my website get my workbook and download loads and loads of questions for you there. Water is a fantastic molecule for looking at bonding because we have lots and lots of different things going on here. Within a molecule, we have covalent bonds. Now, these are incredibly, incredibly strong intramolecular bonds. This is holding the water, the hydrogen and the oxygen together. Within a water molecule, we have a dipole set up, so the oxygens are going to be a little bit negative and the hydrogens are going to be a little bit positive. This establishes the one end is negative and one end of a water molecule is positive and it has this establishment because of the lone pairs that sit on the oxygens. Now this allows for intermolecular bonding to take place between a negative hydrogen and a negative oxygen sorry and a positive hydrogen in another compound we can get an attraction. In this course so far we've already looked at ionic bonding and covalent bonding and now we're moving on to looking at intermolecular forces. Hydrogen bonding, permanent dipole, permanent dipoles, permanent dipole, induced dipoles, perm induced dipoles and instantaneous dipoles. If we are looking at the strength of bonding, it increases as we go up. With ionic bonding and covalent bonding being very, very strong, hydrogen bonding being about 5% of the strength. Permanent dipole, permanent dipole, and permanent dipole induced dipole being about 1% of the strength of ionic or covalent bonding. And then down at the bottom, induced dipole, instantaneous dipole, about 0.1% of the strength of ionic or covalent bonding. Now, lots of different um, subjects, lots of different textbook courses call these different names. These are names that I like because they accurately describe what is going on. But our last three, so our permanent dipole, permanent dipole, permanent dipole, induced dipole, induced dipole, instantaneous dipole, are also known as van der Waals forces. The one at the bottom, induced dipole, instantaneous dipole, is also known as a London dispersion force. I'm going to be making separate videos on each of these to fully explain what is going on in them. If we remember our lesson on electronegativity and bond polarity, you'll remember that up in the top right hand corner of the periodic table we have the big bullies. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, uh, fluorine and chlorine. Now hydrogen bonding is going to occur whenever hydrogen is attached to one of these three. So nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine, but not chlorine. Permanent dipole, permanent dipole is going to occur in anything where we have a permanent dipole. Now here we have hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid if it's in water. And because chlorine is so much more electrode negative than hydrogen, it is going to have all of the electrons to itself, leaving hydrogen to be a little bit positive and chlorine to be a little bit negative. This is going to set up our permanent dipole permanent dipole interaction um, leading to the properties that hydrochloric acid has now I know it is annoying to have to say and write permanent dipole permanent dipole interaction the entire time but it is really really important that you do this you're not allowed to abbreviate it you are not allowed to miss words out
A permanent dipole induced dipole is where we have something that has a permanent dipole like hydrogen chloride and it can then induce a dipole in something else setting up the permanent dipole induced dipole interaction with an instantaneous dipole for no real reason we just get a dipole all of a sudden so that is our instantaneous dipole it can then induce a dipole in something else setting up our instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction there is going to be more details in the following videos about each of these types of bonding